Why does it seem like everybody on YouTube is super successful? Hey, what is up guys? It is Harrison Marin, the Lone Entrepreneur. Now, in this video, I want to share with you guys why it seems like everybody's super successful on YouTube. So, who am I talking about? I'm talking about Jake Paul, the slow-mo guys, um, Casey Neistat. I, I mean, the list goes on and on and on. The Stradman, why are all these people super successful? And ultimately, how do you get a taste of that success? And ultimately, the reason why they're so successful is this, the compound effect. Now, if you don't know what the compound effect is, imagine doing one task around the house, Maybe it's one home improvement. Maybe it's going to the gym one extra hour per day. Whatever it might be for you, think about doing that once every single day for the next 365 days, right? That's a lot of time. That's a lot of time. Maybe it's an hour working on your business extra, or maybe it's doing one extra thing. Maybe it's a piece of content just like this where I'm making 120 YouTube videos. It's doing one thing extra all the time and it's going to build and build and build and ultimately at that point time is your friend time is only going to help you become more successful and this is why it seems like everybody on youtube is so incredibly successful now i'm not saying that you need to go out and make content but you have to think about it for yourself right where could you make money and ultimately where could you invest your time that it's going to work for you time and time and time again now yes you can go out and do house tasks which is great you can go make youtube videos which can work for you all the time or create blogs but there are really four main ways to take advantage of the compound effect on creating content now this doesn't include finances this doesn't include anything else also shout out to my dog who's hanging out right down there but these are all things that are really, really important that you can start doing where home tasks are great. You are going to make so much progress in your home if you do one extra task per day. Maybe it's painting a wall or painting a room or just doing one little minor home improvement. You're probably gonna have a beautiful home at the end of this. But here's the thing. The nice part about creating content is it's going to work for you 24 hours a day, seven days a week. And I actually wanna show that to you guys. So I'm gonna pull up my YouTube channel here and this is, or better yet YouTube. This is YouTube, right? And and most of these people, you know, you got Chef Alex, you have, uh, you know, just I, I watch a variety of different things. You have Savage Garage, you have Drag Times, you have a couple uh, video games, you have Wrangle Star. I mean, the, the list goes on and on, but why are all these people so incredibly successful with thousands if not hundreds of thousands if not millions project farm which is a great one and the interesting thing is i want to show you guys the common theme amongst this when i sign in on here you have things that are one year old one year old four months old five months old two weeks old three months old one year old five months old this is a lot of time right regardless of whether or not this this information excites you or not most of the things on here, and music is probably going to be a little bit shorter, but you have four years old, two months old, two days old, one year old. The overwhelming majority of my stuff on YouTube is well into three or four or five months old. That's it. That's that's the core of my YouTube channel homepage. And I think it's really important for me to cover that because a lot of people think like, hey, I'm going to release a video. And this is the same thing with blogs. Blogs typically take about 35 weeks to start ranking. Same thing with podcasts, even a little bit of social media. But the overwhelming majority of content on here is older than several months. And the interesting part is if I refresh it again, it's going to give me some more information on here. Nine months, one year, six months, five months, 10 years ago. 10 years ago, two years ago, one year ago, three. I mean, it's pretty crazy how old some of this content is. Now there is shorter stuff. I just happened to watch their video earlier. Uh, I, I do listen to a lot of music. I was listening to music earlier, but one year, one week, seven months, eight hours, one year, you know, the overwhelming majority is months and months old. There are some things that are might be hot and, and maybe YouTube thinks that I want to watch them, but I mean, two years, two years, two months, it's it's all pretty old content right it's not anything that's coming out today or or tomorrow it's stuff that's been out for a long period of time and this is something that the compounding effect is really important for which most people don't quite understand where this is my youtube this is the back end of youtube the youtube studio and the interesting part is is if i go to my analytics this is where it gets a little wild so you have 1.7 thousand views you have a hundred hours of watch time this number still blows my mind and 32 subscribers which is really interesting now i'm gonna pull it out to about 340 days just because i do i did run an ad to a video uh, on here a couple uh months ago here so i'm gonna do uh we'll do f i think it's five i can get away with here 
Uh, that way it's not the information is not too skewed. I just I lied. It was it was six. I need to adjust that to six here. And the the really cool part is, and and I think a lot of people kind of overlook this is, is content is working for you twenty four hours a day, seven days a week, and that's the beauty of content marketing, blogging, podcasting, and even social media to some degree, such as TikTok, when it's easy to get found and people can keep watching it over and over and over again. But if you look at this chart right here, it's pretty wild at the growth that's been happening, right? And if you look back, seven, five, two, six, fourteen subscribers, or better yet, views, and now it's. 50 50 60 some days some days even as high as what 173 uh, 115 117 that's a lot of, of views and the cool part is this watch time kind of follows right in line with that of how many hours per day back almost a year ago i was getting 0 0.3 0 0.1 and i remember seeing i was like oh my god you know two i'm getting somebody to watch my stuff every single day that's huge and now i'm getting 50 people per day and and it's, and it's increasing about one per week which is fine and it's it's pretty wild but the cool part is is this isn't the compounding effect the, 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 you're seeing it but you're not quite you're not quite seeing it and this next part is going to really open up the the box of uh compounding effect ideas right so if if, if you just look down here really quickly over the last chunk you know almost a year but let's do 28 days and this is really where you'll start to see uh the the effects here in the last 28 days i've gotten 702 views on this video 213 views on this 152 and 67 on this i mean now are the numbers earth shattering by no means but here's the craziest part one in my opinion they are because i don't have crazy flashy youtube channels i'm not giving away millions of dollars i don't have a lamborghini in my garage i'm, I'm a humble dude i wear three dollar t-shirts and drive a honda accord right i i'm not here to sell you anything I'm, I'm here to educate you and teach you and and share with the experience that i've learned because most people don't have it and i want to i think I'd, I'd feel guilty if i kept it to myself so this is the craziest part like if you look at this chart here and this is the most pronounced one but it, it really it, it you know 18 19 27 it sat at 27 for a while 30 32 and somewhere right around day 144 you can actually see it change the trajectory right here and it goes from 180 to 230 almost and it changes and now it's been going up pretty steadily now this video is dominating youtube search which is really really cool it's gotten 46 views in the last 48 hours it's bringing in now hundreds almost hundreds of views per month which is mind-blowing to me and the craziest part is if you look it's 366 days old there's 362 days in a year. It is over a year old, right? 362. I hope I'm right. Uh, otherwise, I'm going to look like a fool. But <laughs> I, it's it's crazy to think that this is over a year old and it, it's still growing. Watch time follows very similarly. 146 hours of watch time. Subscribers. I've gotten 19 subscribers out of it. Um, yeah, there's 365 days a year. So it's literally a year and one day old. I don't know why it took me so long to think about them. I don't, I'm... I'm getting lost here but that's insane if that doesn't blow your mind at like oh my god i need to start making content i don't i don't quite know what would and and the craziest part is you have the watch time you have your subscribers you have reach right you have tw twenty one thousand impressions you have a click-through rate of 13.7 percent which is great it took a little while to level out but now it's kind of leveled out and it, and it ranges day by day you have your views of 3.4 thousand but the craziest part is people are still watching it in the last 28 days it's gotten 702 views i haven't touched it in a year i haven't even remade this video in a year that is the craziest part it's just over a year old here's another thing make money on linkedin so this is a great little video somebody asked me to make and it's got a weird kind of little s curve here and it kind of takes off right around this mark and we're oh, excuse me weirdly enough that's around the and weirdly enough, that's around the 230-ish day mark. Now, did it grow a little bit? Yeah, it was 36, 37. And then all of a sudden, almost 60-something days in, or better yet, probably more than that, 40, yeah, around day 90, right? Day 90. I'm doing a 120-day challenge. So I'm only about 80 days in. So most of my earliest videos that I've just made in this one challenge haven't even hit the algorithm at full force yet, which is wild and if you look at this people are going back like where did, where did they find it interesting right you can go back and watch this here's my profile which i have to actually update it's been a little while since i've updated it uh, you have your reach over here you have your impressions your views i mean this is all really really good information and the craziest part is once again i haven't touched this in over a year this is 
402 days. If I just said there's 365 days in a year, this is a year and 50-ish days past. I mean, that is an absurd amount of time, and it's still getting impressions and views every single day. And this is the important part. This is now the compounding effect, right? It's gotten 213 views. The basics, uh, Alignable, a program that I'm uh, fond, I, I know well, but it's uh, it's a terrible program. Stay away from it. I will be making a, uh, an Alignable video here. But I mean, it, it really kind of took a little while. It took almost, I don't know, 60-ish, 50 to 60 days for it to really start to migrate in the right direction. And now it's still getting 16 views every 48 hours. It's dominating YouTube search, right? And and this is how it's going. I mean, it's pretty incredible. This is my old studio in here. And watch that, I'm 143 hours, 1.5 thousand views. I mean, most people would sell a kidney to, to speak to 15 or 20 people. And I've spoken to 1.5 thousand people in the course of the last year, and I don't have to do anything. I made this video over the course of maybe two or three hours, and I've gotten 143 hours of watch time in return. That is incredible. And obviously, it's, there's value in it because YouTube is still showing it to people. That's the benefit of it. Now, I do want to bring up one of the more recent videos where how to use AI to make better content and copy. This was uh, actually somebody who gave me this idea, but this was really, really interesting. So it, let me just roll back here really quick. And it's gotten 67 views in the last um, 24 days. I mean, that's the craziest part. It, it, I haven't touched it. I, was, I spoke to almost 70 people about how AI is helping me grow my business and write my uh, write my information as far as you know my description. And here's CopySmith, right? If you want to go buy any of these softwares, always check the links down below. I have a bunch of stuff down there for you guys to, to save money and do exactly what I do, right? My camera equipment, my, my whole setup, my microphone here. Um, but it's pretty wild to think like, hey, I made this video 24 days ago and I've gotten 68 views on it and four hours of watch time. Now, is that earth shattering? No, but here's the thing. I made it over the course of about one hour, maybe an hour and a half. If you really wanna get carried away, two hours. So I spent two hours to make a video. It's had four hours of watch time in total and it, it, it has 68 views. I mean, that is tremendous and it's just going to keep growing now there are spikes i mean i can go back and dissect that and learn a little bit from it but this is really really good information for me to have now not every video is going to perform like this but i think you're starting to see the 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 overall theme here where these videos were made over a year ago or or a year ago right these are some of my oldest videos because i remember the thumbnail congrats on your new job now what how to start your podcast these are all things that people are starting to watch these, these videos and I haven't done anything with it, right? April 20th is just under a month ago and people are still watching it. So the compounding effect is really just creating this content that can work for you 24 hours a day, seven days a week and build and build and build. So I encourage you, I know that it's gonna be a little bit more work in regardless of what industry, where you work, how you work, if you work in construction, if I mean, if you could take a camera or a GoPro or a laptop with you to work and you can either type or you can record or you can video yourself or what you're doing and make content, it will work for you 24 hours a day, seven days a week. Now I did say, why do all YouTubers look like this? And the, it is the compounding effect. It is the fact that some of these YouTubers have been doing it for three, four, five, six, seven, eight years that their videos have been able to be viewed online. And that is the benefit of it. It's not the video that I'm going to make today that I'm going to get famous on tomorrow. That is a strategy for some people, although it's one that usually doesn't work. But the crazy part is it's making the content today and letting time and the algorithms work in your favor. And that's when you're going to see the success. It's making that content letting it just live online. And all the content I do, I try to make really high quality, pro professional quality content. I mean, this is a 4K video, it's a smooth transition, I have key lighting, I have my bicycle in the background, I live in an apartment, cut me some slack here. But this is the process of, hey, I'm making good content that is easily digestible, that is provides crazy value for people, key, provides value, and in return, it will work for me for the next year, two years, three years to come. So if I stopped working on my channel, Today, if I just said, hey, you know what? I'm pulling the plug, I'm done with it. I'm, I'm never gonna do anything again. Uh, I currently have, and I'm just pulling this up here so you guys can see it, 334 subscribers. And I just wanna see how many videos I have here. A hundred, so this is video 201, I have one coming out tomorrow, but 201 videos. That is 201 pieces of content or little soldiers that can work for me 24 hours a day, seven days a week, telling people 
what I do, how to do it, and the algorithm will take care of the rest. So that's pretty wild. 200 videos. Never thought I'd see that, but that is the compound effect. This is how it works. This is why everybody on YouTube seems successful because they've been doing it for a long period of time. They've been making high quality content and they keep providing value to people. And because of that, people come back over and over and over again and watch their stuff. So I hope this video helps. I hope you guys learned something. If you guys did, leave a comment down below or leave a comment on how you're doing a compounding effect in a different area. Now, I do know, disclaimer, that there is compounding effects in finance and other areas, but this is purely for growing a business and why people on YouTube are specifically uh, killing it. So hope this helps. Like, subscribe, uh, share, share it out, tell somebody about this, uh, especially if you're trying to get somebody to make content. This is the video to send them, why it works, how it works. And the craziest part is, and I didn't even share it, how much traffic I get from my YouTube channel, which is kind of mind-blowing, but I'm not going to talk about that in this video. So hope this helps. See you guys later. Bye.